So the crazy talented figure skaters at the 2014 Olympic Winter Games are unstoppable along with the designs that they feature on the ice. The figure skaters costumes are show stopping. So what goes into all those dazzling designs and what does it take to put all that stuff together here today is fashion model and style expert Joanna House to give us some highlights from the Olympic figure skaters who just continue to dazzle Joanna. Yes, yes. So good to see you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I've been staying up so late DVRing. If I miss, I do not want to miss what the girls are wearing. I mean, they have really blown it out of the park with all of the designs and styles. And what's great is we're going to go over the U.S. teams and kind of what their inspirations were for their looks. Very cool. So who are we starting with? All we're right, starting with Gracie Gold. Yes, Gracie Gold, the supernova. She was dancing her heart out and made strides in the the media because they really branded her the ice queen. Her whole styling was regal and stunning and there was a reason because she got together with her coach and she said you know what I want to look like Grace Kelly. I want to kind of have someone classic, to classic, classic look, emulate yeah. and that's what she did and she actually enlisted um, Brad Giff Griffries who is uh, one of the costume designers for um, Grace Kelly's granddaughters oh, and Princess wow. of Monaco. So as you can see here, the Sleeping Beauty um, is what what kind of with all the crystals and the blue. He wanted to make her pop on the ice. They, you know, what you're going to notice about the designs this year as versus the other years is that it's all about subtle simplicity, elegance, and that's exactly what she pulled off in this look. That's beautiful. Usually, Ice Queen is not usually a great term, but in I know this, I, I we kind can of use it. I thought it and I thought you know what it's she really actually literally the, is an Ice Queen. Queen of the Ice. It doesn't mean that they're cold-hearted, the but it was. It's just, you know, queen of the ice, and I, I like that kind of term, so I put it in there. <laughs> so let's talk about Meryl Davis. Yes, Meryl Davis. So, of course, um, you know, she did amazing with Charlie White, and they had this um, just synchronized, beautiful, unparalleled to anything that we've seen in a really long time partnership. And she was just breathtaking because she also took a very feminine approach, and she modeled a lot of her outfits after Audrey Hepburn. So if you're looking at My Fair Lady, that was where the pink inspiration, and then here she wanted to go with something a little more exotic, and um, what people might not know is that the infamous Randall Christensen, who designs all of the ABC's Dancing with the Stars, mm -hmm. um, he created her looks for her. Oh, wow. So he's very famous in that world, and she definitely pulled it off with that lilac, and, you know, they won gold. So, so do they typically then find one designer to design all of their, their costumes for it? Well, everyone's been different, and in the past, Vera Wang has been a huge designer for a lot of the ice skaters. Mm -hmm. um, you've got every girl, what you're going to realize with all of the, the younger girls that are now, they're really inspired by fashion, so they're trying to find who can make the best fit for, for them. Their, for and they're their not body going all to the same everything. person, uh, so everyone had someone different. Very cool. Ashley Wagner. Yes, Ashley Wagner, another American treasure. So um, she wanted to make a lasting impression when it came to fashion. She felt like it was her time to shine, and she did not care if people thought, hey, I want to be noticed on the ice. I don't want to blend in with the ice. And really hear what she did. You know, um, I've just been reading so much about her incredible story and how she saved up all of her money and then she moved for her training and she's paid so much of her way to be a part of the Olympics so she probably could have bought these outfits herself and just <laughs> saved you know um, but what's great about her is that she really wanted to go for these bold colors as you can see this canary yellow and she didn't want to blend in with the ice you have to think too a lot of these girls cannot wear something that's gonna muted that can they can lose themselves and and you know what they're doing so it's got to kind of stand out and she looked to Elie Saab um, you know of course his designs are ridiculous but she went ahead, she started going to her pinning on her boards and social media sites, pulling his runway designs, took it to her costume designer and said, you know what, this is what I want to look like. And he created the outfits for her. So let me ask you this, and, and, and I know part of the answer to this, but how much are these costumes costing? The other part of that yes. would be they're probably not spending that themselves because it's a great promotion for these designers well, as well. you have to realize that the amount of time and hours that it goes into creating these pieces and the durability because they're doing a lot of athleticism in this. So, you know, the outfits are running from $3,000, $5,000 a piece. The girls are having one for the long program, the short program, and then they're interchanging them between the free, you know, with their free figure skating programs. And, you know, what they have to realize too is that they have to have a backup, one just in case for interviews. If something so they happens. have doubles of each, each of yeah, these? Yeah, no, they really only have about three. So there's not a ton oh. of the options that they have. Um, like we said, it's about can these outfits sustain durability? It's about the crystals. And what we've noticed this season, none of the pieces are gaudy. If you look back in the 80s and the 90s, the styles were gaudy. And, you know, it's really about chicness, elegance, and I think they've done a terrific job. So do these then translate, as, as you would go to a runway and see new fashions, do yes. these translate to girls that are now ice skating? They want to yes. get costumes that That's are like 
a great point because in the past, girls kind of just let the that costume designers do it. Now these girls are saying, hey, this is exactly what I want. I'm showing you a picture. And then they create their theme and their program goes along with their outfit as well. Very cool. Good info. Thank you for all that stuff. You'll want to and touching on the show-stopping figure skaters for the Winter Olympics 2014. If you have any beauty, style, or fashion questions for you want or you want to sponsor our Beauty Buzz segment, email her at living at firstcoastnews.com. We'll be right back.